Good morning. So I just finished a new build. This is the 72, which in the point of making the, you know, truthfulness, it is a 69. The older 72s could fit through a 72 inch gate. But the reason I didn't even finish this one is because I needed to get the shop space back. Um, the, only, the biggest thing about this machine and the way I built it uh, is that if I needed to replace a, a wheel motor or pump, then then literally I flip my seat forward and I'm in the process of taking off the bolts and uh, plumbing to replace the pump. So without the saddle tanks and without the crossbar that goes across to support that, then if I put a pump in from a used machine, I can test it without reassembling the machine because none of the ancillary stuff to support the running of the machine has to be reattached over the top of that pump. So this is basically just simplicity and stuff like that. But before I even got back to the point of finishing this build, it was obsolete because I'm going to a different style of deck because um, granted, everybody has different circumstances and what I do doesn't work for a lot of people. You wouldn't be able to put this out on HOA. You have less fuel capacity, blah, 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 or mow large acreages. But what I was doing was little mom and pop yards where I had five minutes of burn time and then trimming, you know what I mean? And then that was better for my machines because the engines did lasted longer, the hydros lasted longer, and I pocketed more money overall just going yard to yard to yard with little breaks in between, okay? And by using the wider deck and source looking at only the the open access lawns, that all worked for my game plan to also have a fuel efficient vehicle for getting there, okay? And that's only structured because of your demographic. If your demographic was affluence and stuff like that, then you would not do those things because that wouldn't be the way to make the most money so anyway the decks that i'm going to are going to be well i don't have them actually here i do have them um I'm, I'm, these are clocked applications off of uh, time master decks to build a 60 inch deck i'll be cutting as necessary to Siamese these together to get 60 inches overall with only 15 inches front to back and when they're clocked they don't have to be staggered and when you do that now if you mounted the back edge of the deck at the push bar the front edge of your deck will only be here and that does one of several things on the standards it lets you pull your front wheel set back so that a loader or front end loader quick attachment is more feasible without changing geometrically. See, the problem with a loader for these normally is that when you kick these tires backwards, that's the, the minimum outreach of your front of your bucket, the back of the front of your bucket. It puts too much weight too far forward. If you can truncate the overall geometry, that lets you put a straight bar across the front of this frame rail, step in your front wheels back, making the front edge, the, the back edge of your bucket not so pronounced. So if you needed to skip load mulch or gravel for a landscape stall, then install installation, then it's more doable if your deck was shorter. So that's a 61 inch deck. This would be about 59 when all done and told. And, uh, Another factor is on the area that I'm in, you kind of don't want the scenario where your back baffles hang down lower than your front because unfortunately, most of your people here in this area want this shorter cut and the back baffle being down so low does nothing but disturb the even cut that you just laid out. So the blades, came across they they laid out a good cut and then before you even have a chance to put eyes on it the back baffles have uh feathered up the tendrils 
of uh, any of those weeds that don't go straight up and down but kind of lay sideways for grunting and cover more area. As an example here, I put the shorter spindles, shorter spindle shoulder uh, here to step the blade height up as much as I could for a lady that had tall St. Augustine. But then everybody else down the line that wanted the shortcut, you see how, how there's a big difference between the height of the back on the back of the deck. On the front, if you can see across there, it's dead even. And that's kind of the general design of commercial decks versus the design of uh, residential decks, which is basically what those Time Master 30 uh, decks are, where they're dead even front to back on the baffle height. So anyway, that's what I'm going towards. And then another factor beyond being more versatile in put a loader or whatever is that i'm going to show a picture here of a place where i did the the rake striping and stuff um it could let you turn your deck into more of a lawn processor so i could have a rotating drum with those lightweight rake tines in the front that did feather up and loosen the turf and set the stripe pattern because of the direction of movement then cut it in one pass right now i have a rake that's for the back of my one of my john deers that i kind of step on and it's got a spring off of a hitch that holds it up and detent but then when i want to apply the the tool i just kind of step backwards on the rake and then i set my stripes with the john deere and then i have to get on the 60 inch uh super z and follow the same pass route structure and it makes real distinct to pronounce um display of shading and light um and it, it it looks good you know what i mean but it also can benefit if you don't overdo it and and breaking up the turf letting in moisture and oxygen all right i gotta get back to work like i said i didn't even really want to finish this build it's just that the machine was in my way i had to make it mobile so i put it together and it is at least usable it runs in mows and everything like you would want to but the biggest issue is it's out of my way now i can move it out and i wished i had more room and i didn't have to do this because i don't believe a shop should be used both for storage and for servicing mach machines one should be for one one should be for the other and that way you don't spend a lot of energy and stuff vacating floor space to get started working on something um unless you're in a perfect world where you've got enough space to do both in the same structure you know that would be awesome but anyway uh if you like anything that i'm saying or I mean, everything's different for everybody but like and subscribe because i want to try to get back into videos um but it just has to be uh something where it's worth my time to bring to you the information that i feel is important um environmentally and in development of the machinery so y'all have a good day